In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, automation, including autonomous driving, is the way of the future. And one San Diego-based company, founded in 2015, says it may be the solution to the supply chain issues. This is not your ordinary semi because it can drive all by itself. We had literally one instance where I think some other big truck driver passed us and it slowed down because he realized there wasn't anybody in the cabin. <laughs> yeah. San Diego based Too Simple kept track as the truck followed its route along Interstate 10 from Tucson to Phoenix. The 80 mile trip took a little more than an hour to complete. Chen Lu is the company's CEO. You think about it, you're operating a truck that is 80,000 pounds, driving 65 miles an hour, uh, navigating both surface streets and highways. Lou says this stretch of interstate is ideal for the first driverless route. Unmarked law enforcement vehicles supervise the entire trip, trailing half a mile behind the autonomous 18-wheeler. I-10 is the busiest corridor for Class A trucks. I think the significance of this is not only the technology side, but really this is a full commercial route. You know, we went from a terminal uh, onto a highway and back into a very busy uh, distribution center. The business has 70 self-driving trucks that have already racked up millions of miles. The CEO believes this emerging industry could be a solution to the supply chain issues we've seen this year. The only way you can create new freight capacity to solve the supply chain constraints is to uh, not have drivers. Today is a major step towards that. Very interesting to see what happens in the future with this. The ride itself marked the first time a Class 8 autonomous truck, that's one of your heavy trucks that's in excess of 33,000 pounds, operated on an open public road without any human intervention. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. All right, Andrew, thank you so much.